Rebecca. Hi, I'm Ellie Edgar and I am the Pumpkin Lady. Hi, Carol. How are Hi. you? Good, thank you. Good. You're here to talk about your highlighter today, huh? Amber said that maybe you were interested in the highlighter. I am. After talking to you, I really like the idea of making the eye pop out. Okay, and then you're exactly right. We're on the same page with this. Now, the highlighter is going to go above your eyeliner, which we've already done. And you're going to take it and put a light pink above your eyeliner. And the other thing I'd like to do, with your permission, of course, mm -hmm. is take the highlighter and go underneath just about two little pokes out to lift your eye and open it. As we get older, gravity is not our friend, and so our eyes droop a little bit. So by taking the highlighter right under there and lifting, it, it does exactly that. It Sounds like your a eye. great idea. Yeah. And it'll enhance the eyeliner that's already there. Right. So it's like putting okay. light behind dark mm -hmm. and popping out the color. Fabulous. I'm in. You're in? I'm in. Right. So do you like your other highlighter? And in, I mean, your other eyeliner? I love my eyeliner. Eyebrows? I love my eyeliner. I love my eyebrows. Okay. I love that what you did, you lifting the little corner at the end. Uh-huh. With as the... As we age, the eye droops, and I thank you for, for recommending that. So that will even boost it even It'll more? It'll boost it even more. So has anybody ever asked if your eyebrows are tattooed? Yes, mm -hmm. all the time people ask me, they say you have beautiful eyebrows, and I say, no thanks to me, thanks to Ellie. <laughs> but they don't say they're tattooed, right? No, they don't. You tell them. They don't. Right? I tell them. Good, right? good, good. They have beautiful, beautiful eyebrows. Eyebrow. Because I think they look real natural, they look like they're airbrushed, and they look like they're just part of you. Thank you, Ellie. You're welcome. When client comes in, I set up my procedure depending on what they're going to have done, and we keep a packet, like our first client that's coming in, Here's her packet of her procedures, so I know exactly each time she comes in, if each procedure that she does, and each color or pigment that we infuse into her skin. The nummy is in the cup, which is makes this almost a painless procedure. And her A and I use a handheld applicator, sterilized in its packet, so they're extremely sanitary. And my gloves for my own self protection. Okay, Miss Carol, just the same like we did your eyeliner here, we're going to put a drop of the cellulose in your eyes, and you know what that does, it protects your eyes. And then I'm going to put the nummy on the top, and then we're just going to let it stay for a minute. How does that feel? feels relaxing. <laughs> relaxing, you're going to go to sleep? It's funny because some ladies, and I know you know this, Carol, come on their lunch hour, have their tattooing done, their permanent makeup, of course, as they refer to it, not too many ladies like to call it tattooing, um, is the fact that they come on their lunch hour and then they go back to work. So because we do it in a slow pace, layering color over color, they are able to do this and not curtail any of their work. So I'm gonna do one little pass with our applicator of course. I chose a light pink for you and I put a tiny bit of light beige in there to pop out a little bit more. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. So the stretch is very gentle. How does that feel? No problem. It's almost like a skin color but it adds a little pink to it. I'm very careful when I do the eye liner because there's so much migration. And migration just means that people hit the skin really too hard and the pigment, there's nothing to hold because the eyelids are the thinnest skin of our whole body. And it just kind of, in the tattoo world, blows out the color. No smudging when you swim. No smudging when you get sweaty. That's an advantage. Or have an overnight flight. Mm -hmm. and you don't get off. You're flying from Europe. No problem. You don't look like a little raccoon. I think of all the procedures that I do, which include some medical procedures for cancer survivors, the eyeliner, any ladies and gentlemen, 
and I've done many gentlemen too, that have very, very light eyelashes, or gentlemen that have um, uh, loss of hair. Basically, they want a little bit of eyeliner into their lash line so they can make it look like they have eyes. Alopecia is one of the hair loss problems that men and women suffer from, and just having some makeup is so perfect. I was at a convention in 98 in San Diego where a lady got up and it's funny that I think about her right now. She got up in front of us and she was Mrs. Washington and she was so wonderful. She got up and she was talking about permanent makeup and how permanent makeup meant to her and her life. And then we thought, well, we all know this. She pulled her wig off and she had alopecia. She had no eyebrows or no face when she didn't have makeup. So it was very heartwarming to all of us that it really means a lot to a lot of people. My husband himself has alopecia and that's actually how I met him by doing his eyebrows in the tattoo salon. He has a little on his arm legs, doesn't he? Because yes. You don't notice that he doesn't have eyelashes. Right, you're not supposed to say that because Carl's here right now. <laughs> I don't want anybody to know really? Really? Actually, that's a benefit. I think so. And he actually has a soul patch that I tattooed on the bottom of his lip. He should wear a crowd. I think so too. So there's so many wonderful ways for permanent makeup, whether it means, you know, something that has happened to them uh, because, you know, of health-wise or otherwise. I had a lady once, and this is very heartwarming too, I was doing her eyebrows and she had scars all in her eyebrows. And I was like, I didn't ask her, she didn't volunteer to tell me why. I just knew they were there and we had to deal with them and scars are always a challenge. So when I went to um, um, fill them in and they, they turned out really pretty. And the next day she called me and told me this is the first time her mother who abused her, she didn't look in the mirror and saw, see her mother coming at her with the scissors. So her mother had abused her for many, many years. And so that was like, you get really choked up when you hear stories like that. So there's all kinds of ladies that come to us for all kinds of reasons. I had a little gospel singer this morning come and I think that's why it makes my job so wonderful and I'm so happy with what I do. Here you go, Miss Carol. Can you open? Beautiful. Very beautiful. It does make the eye pop open. <laughs> 